It's been like a weird holiday season. I'm sure that it has for pretty much everybody. I have not decided yet if I'm gonna be going home for the holidays. I'm pretty much like 99% sure that I'm not, but that's really, really sad for me. So I haven't really been letting myself fully make the committed decision yet. Um, but I got my Christmas tree a few weeks ago, like a week ago, and I put it up and that's made it feel really cozy here. And my mom just sent me a box of all of my decorations from home. So I thought I would vlog decorating my apartment. I'm thinking Curtis and I will decorate the tree together tomorrow night. If he wants to do that together, I had mentioned it before, so I don't wanna leave him out of it, but I'm gonna open this box, dig through what I've got. I will show you guys. And then I'm gonna like spruce up just the apartment in general as well. I'm excited because soon, I don't think it'll come in time for this vlog probably. I'll probably have to do a separate vlog. Um, but on this wall, ooh, I just ordered like a big tall leaning ladder shelf. It's white. It's gonna look really, really good in here. I'm really excited for that because it'll be like the background because that's my work desk. So that's where I do a lot of my like live videos and my coaching calls and stuff. So I really want like a pretty background over there. And I feel like that'll be a good surface to add some Christmas stuff to as well. I wanna take you guys along for the ride because I don't know about you, but I freaking love Christmas time. I've always, always loved the holidays. It has this just magical feel to me. It's so warm and cozy. And even if I don't get to go home for the holidays this year, um, I am excited to create some new traditions, um, to spend some time with Curtis, to hopefully get some of my mom's recipes that will make it feel like home and just, you know, zoom in with the family at present time. So um, yeah, let's check out what's in the box. So I actually also spent all day today, pretty much all afternoon in the hair salon, getting some low lights to prepare me for winter. I feel like it looks really good. I'll have to show you guys in some better lighting later. It's pretty dark out right now, but I'm just like breaking YouTube rules and I'm gonna record anyway. Let's open this box. Does anyone else just get like really excited for packages in the mail, no matter what they are? Like, I love it, but this like coming from home and being like from my mom and all of my Christmas stuff and all of my memories like from my apartment and from growing up just like makes it even cozier and I'm just so excited for it. So we got some more lights, which I'm happy about because I bought like these bigger lights from Target. They're like these big chunky lights and I don't know, I think I'm gonna put them outside. I don't really like them. They're really thick. They're I expected them to be like this, you know, like the small regular lights. Um, but I'm excited to have some colorful ones because I grew up, I know, I know all the influencers like their trees to be like rose gold and white and like very like minimalistic. But I grew up with a tree that had colored lights and like all colored ornaments. So that's what really feels like Christmas to me. So I was a little disappointed when like the trees that I bought, um, I went to Target to get my tree and they were all pre-lit trees and the only option were to have white light. So that was a little sad, but you know, we make do and here we are. Oh yeah. So this is fun too, because a lot of my Christmas like decorations, it's either stuff that my mom gave me when I moved into my um, first apartment, just from stuff that I had growing up, um, a few things that I bought myself, but also a lot of, because I was a kindergarten teacher and I directed a before and aftercare program before I started working for myself and doing this whole like online thing. And so a lot of my gifts are from former students and their parents. So that's always just like a nice memory for me too, because I don't, you know, it doesn't like cross my mind that often working in a schools. And so when I get to reminisce, it is really nice. And I know that this little like towel was from a student. Oh, getting sparkles everywhere already. But I have these pretty things. I just get so happy. I freaking love Christmas. It makes me feel so jolly. And like, these are the types of decorations I like. <laughs> it's like so corny, but I love it so much. Like this like happy ass little like jolly Santa Claus. Like I love the bright, the colorful, you know, it's just not the vibe now. And I look around my apartment and everything's like gold and like, well, I have a pretty colorful apartment. I have to say, I feel like a lot of people like the trendy thing to do right now is be very like neutral colors and like gold tones, black and white, um, like neutral hues. And I have like a pink couch, obviously my rug is blue. I like a lot of color, but it's interesting now decorating for Christmas. I'm like, oh, nothing's gonna match but you know what i just don't care i don't care okay i can put this sign up today right now it's november 30th so i will hang this up for tomorrow it's a little christmas countdown i think i am gonna start decorating tonight because 
I'm really gonna want to. I have a call for the Manifest More membership in like 10 minutes, but then after that, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna decorate and I can't wait. Oh, my Harry Potter. <laughs> this is like one of the childhood ones, you know? My Harry Potter ornaments. I remember picking that out from the store. My mom would like take us and let us buy an ornament when we would go to Treasure Island. I don't know if you guys have those. A little Starbucks cup. I got a lot of sparkly ones. Again, color. I love the color. Snowflakes. More sparkle. <laughs> Aw, all these little nutcracker guys. All right, let's do this a quicker way. was the elf on the shelf when I was a before and after care director. I bought this for them because they really wanted it and they were all talking about it. And so it was really fun to get to like do the whole elf thing. And I remember one day, there was like 50 kids. Okay, you guys, I was 23, picture this. I'm 23, I'm in charge of 50 kids in a gym after school. I am the boss, I'm the oldest like staff member. Um, kind of crazy thinking back, but they were, just like, you know how kids get, like right before Christmas, they were wild, like out of their minds one day. And so the next day they came in and they would all just come like rushing in after school would end, running in and, and at Christmas time, they would all be like looking for the elf. I can't remember what they named him, Ralph? But anyway, they'd be like searching for him. So the next day after they were like wild and crazy, the elf wasn't there. And they were all like, where is he? I'm like, I don't know. And so when we had circle time, it was just basically like a meeting that we had to kind of like touch base, you know, before the day started. I opened up this letter that came into our mailbox for them. And as I opened it up, gl green glitter poured out of the envelope. So you can just imagine all of these, they were like kindergarten through third grade. Their voices were like, <gasps> And it got more silent than I had ever heard it all year. And it was just a note from Santa saying that the elf was a little afraid after yesterday. So we wanted to take a day, you know, at home in the North Pole with Santa and Mrs. Claus, have some hot cocoa, just relax and chill. And he would 100% be back tomorrow. The kids were really sweet. And this like silly bands bracelet, one of the kids made this bracelet for the elf. So the next day he appeared wearing it and he is still wearing it to this day. So I just thought that was a cute story. So this should be the final day with the tree. As you saw, I could not resist. I had to go back to Marshall's, grab some like ornaments, just some like regular plain circular ornaments. I felt like, so the tree I used to have in my old apartment was like, I don't know, two or three feet tall. So it was really small. So a lot of my ornaments are tiny and I feel like on the taller tree it just doesn't look I don't know, it's not what I wanted yet. So I bought some of those, I bought some ribbon to see if we could make that work. Then I actually had to run back out because who knew that ornaments don't come with like the hangers it makes or the hooks, makes no sense. But then I went to CVS, grab those. So we are good to go and we're going to do the final round of finishing up the tree. <laughs> 